Years in the making, but tomorrow feel like we need a drum roll for this. The, there you go. Good one. And the final phase of the Southwest Wharf will be open this time tomorrow. I can't wait. News 4's Mark Seagraves has a preview of the new waterfront development. The development along the Southwest waterfront has transformed this area from a once forgotten part of the district to a destination for locals and tourists. Phase one opened in 2017. We've had 7 million visitors here this past year. Tomorrow, district leaders will cut the ribbon on the final phase in the waterfront's development. Phase two includes more restaurant options, a fourth hotel, and three new office buildings. But one of the most exciting parts for developer Monty Hoffman is the access the public will now have along the waterfront. We've actually extended the Wharf Street all the way over to Fort McNair, so for the first time, you can go from Jefferson Memorial to Buzzards Point or Fort McNair area along the waterway. And that's pretty exciting. District officials are hoping Congress takes note of the wharf's success as they consider whether to give D.C. the rights to develop another waterfront parcel. It actually serves as a great model, not just for what happened at the wharf and, um, and what could happen in other places around the district, but it could be the model for RFK. And officials from Baltimore have toured the wharf as they consider revamping their inner harbor. One thing that is often mentioned when talking about the wharf, traffic and parking. Uh, Main Avenue already has about 22,000 cars a day on it, so it's pretty well, it's close to max of what it can possibly do. I think, uh, you know, we've already tried with our water taxi system. We have our bus shuttle service, which uh, brings about 125,000 people a year from the metro stops. But I think circulator buses and those, those pieces will, you know, hopefully uh, evolve further to help enhance getting people here. The wharf is home to about 3,000 jobs for the district. Along the southwest waterfront, Mark Seagraves, News 4. Main Avenue does get really busy. Now, we just heard back from DDOT about the traffic plan and how it plans to manage things along Main Avenue. A DDOT development team will collect data over the next few months and then use that information to help determine if changes are needed to ease congestion. And on that water tax.